All right. All praises and glory unto God, who is the head of our life. We back, we back, we back. If you got an ionic battery, you want to hear what I have to say on this video. Before I go any further, like or subscribe that we may continue to provide content that is interesting to you. Amen. I got lithium ionics. Had them about two months. They worked fine. No problem. But one of the things I love about Ionic, as well as this, uh, the endless power, is the Bluetooth app that monitors the power. Uh, I noticed the other day that one of my batteries was not on the, on the Bluetooth app. And so I began to do research to find out how could I correct the issue. Uh, there's no YouTube videos out there. Um, couple blogs that talks about it. Uh, I couldn't get a hold to uh, Lithium Hub. I just kept getting a voicemail. So they probably was not in there. But nevertheless, after my research and thinking it over, I decided to um, I decided to drain my battery down to nine volts, which would cause the BMS to to shut down and so it's like a total reset of the battery and so I did that and I charged it back up and I got around two uh, percent when I got two percent I noticed that I was able to um, I was able to register my um, my batteries again on the app and so that's a problem solved, but it's a problem that that Lithium Hub have not brought to our attention uh, that this will happen. So if it have not happened to you, it will happen to you. Um, some says you need a software update. Some says you need a software update. Some says it's something with the phones, but it's none of that. Um, you just need to deplete your battery and then recharge it and your Bluetooth will start back working again. One of my problems was I went out um, every fishing trip. I don't use I think I had it for what, three, two, three months. And and I only got like, now I got four cycles on my battery. Uh, and I, you know, probably been out fishing maybe 10 times or better. And so... Um, I didn't see a need to, you know, I kept charging my battery even though I didn't need to charge them. And so maybe that caused uh, the Bluetooth to stop working because it was fully charged. Uh, I don't know, but I believe it is recommended to deplete your battery down to at least 70%, 60-70% before you charge them. So for me, that's like maybe three fishing trips. <laughs> I just want to bring that to your attention. Don't forget to subscribe or like this channel. Peace out.